it's amazing watching people who said, oh, I, I could never be a runner and talking them into doing it. And then, they're like, oh my gosh, I'm a runner. <laughs> Coaching Girls on the Run is one of the most fun and inspiring volunteer roles that I have ever done. The physical part of running is only a piece of it and um, the social part in the community of runners in Kalamazoo is so supportive that it, it just doesn't matter. The physical piece will come with it. You know, it's cold and you're tired after work and they want to get out there and, and play catch, but you have to be out there and do that. And you also have to be a role model. I have done Borges Run Camp for three or four years, I can't remember now, three years, two of which I was a team leader. I became a team leader because uh, Blaine Lamb emailed asked if I would help out because they had an influx of two, uh, 12 plus minute milers and I was happy to help and then I'm at training and I, I'm starting to hear things that sound like I'm actually going to be a team leader and I kind of freaked out a little bit because I'm not the world's best runner by any stretch of the imagination and he just explained that being a team leader was literally uh, organization, a cheerleader, it doesn't matter if you're the best runner or not, just to you know be out there and motivate people. Last year we all trained for the half marathon. They said after doing the 5k they decided we're gonna do a half marathon we want you to be our team leader and I said oh gosh you guys I don't think so <laughs> but I decided to do it and it was fantastic. My name is Jessica Aguilera and I work at the Kalamazoo Community Foundation. I do many things for Girls on the Run. I started out as a volunteer coach, so I helped the girls with their 10-week empowerment curriculum and running program. Um, and then I transitioned for uh, just time purposes. I wanted to do more, and I added a couple more hours in to help fundraise, individual fundraising called Elite Runner Program. The great thing about running is that you don't need a lot of money. You can do it on your own. You can run for five yards or you can run for five miles. So I love that it's really, um, it's a sport that can really be for anybody. My name is Leslie McCullough and I work at Greater Kalamazoo Girls on the Run and I am the program and volunteer coordinator. It's kind of like Pringles. Once you start, you really can't stop. You just gotta keep coaching because you miss it. The girls are great and they teach you so much about yourself and the lessons are awesome and you get to see them transform. It's like, you know, the whole caterpillar to butterfly thing. So it's really fun. So we have done a few things in that time that are school-wide that uh, we think we can point to that make kids healthier. So one thing we do every day before recess is we run laps for five minutes. So that's every child in the school. Uh, our goal is to have them run for the full five minutes. Often it may be a walk run or just a walk, but they are out there in the first five minutes every day, which we think gives us um, at least a certain amount of physical activity. If they may not want to do anything else, that we can guarantee that recess is an active time for everyone, gets their heartbeat going a little bit. Another thing we do is our five minute dance party at the end of lunch every day. So that's on a rotational basis of one uh, grade level, so about 80 students at a time. The last five minutes of their lunch, we all go into the gym and they just get a free dance period, which they tend to very enjoy. It's a very fun event. The sort of finding ways to be healthy your whole life, right? Not everyone's gonna be a great athlete, but we can all find things we can do to be a healthier person and stay physically active.
damn, pump it up, why your feet are stumping? 